So I showed you guys what I did as far as the shampoo. Um, I didn't get on to show you what I did as far as the conditioner because to be completely honest, I wasn't overall like impressed with the conditioner. So what ended up happening is I've had this for about a year and a half. So it's like a Olaplex um, bond maintenance conditioner. I remember the first couple times I used it when I first bought it a year and a half ago. Um, I really liked it. It worked really great. Um, the consistency was, you know, sticky, but it left my hair feeling conditioned and refreshed when I strained it out. Um, obviously, what you use when your hair is curly, when it's straight, it's going to be completely different. So that's just kind of a give me. Um, so yeah, it worked very great, you know, a year and a half ago. This time um, I was using it on my hair and, you know, my hair wasn't really getting that butter feeling when I was trying to detangle it, smooth it out. You know, I was definitely having some resistance. It was, you know, quite a while of detangling. So I added a little bit of It's a 10. This is like a daily miracle conditioner. Um, so it's not like a leave-in, but it's a conditioner. Um, that kind of helped a little bit, but still, you know, I had to work it through my hair. During this time, I decided to still do my uh, rice water rinse. When you're using rice water, when you're using shikakai, um, the more you use it, that's when you're going to start to notice the results. So you might not see a change in the strength in your hair the first use. You might not see a change in the amount of hair shedding that you have even after you've washed and styled your hair. Like obviously, you know, the hair shedding will get better the I guess the longer the days go um, so you're not gonna see that right off the bat within like the first week this is something that you continue using each wash and then you know, you get more and more you'll start to see like what it's actually doing especially when it comes to, like the shine of your hair the bounce of your hair so um, I made sure that like I just put the rice water in a spray bottle sprayed it on my hair while I was putting in my deep conditioners these were what I was using for my deep conditioners um, and so with rice water it is a great detangler I noticed it's not so much like a like a very slippery detangler where as soon as you spray it on you'll notice your hair detangling better it's more of after I spray it on I wait a couple minutes and then I notice my hair starts to detangle better um, so yep I did that I put on a plastic bag on my head and um, I just I don't have a hooded dryer I just have a regular hand dryer so after I put the plastic bag on my head um, I took the dryer and you know just went back and forth I listened to music I did this for about 20 to 25 minutes um, usually I only do it for 15 minutes but I guess the songs that were playing were really good and I was just I was enjoying it so I did that and then I think I cleaned my bathroom so all in all I probably had this deep conditioner mix on my hair for about maybe about you know 40 minutes or so and then um, yeah I rinsed everything out when I rinsed it out I did do my hair in sections um, so I did this section first um, made sure everything was rinsed out and then I did this section and the same thing with this side of my hair I had it in two different sections and um, that really helped me to make sure that I got all of the product out because when you don't get all of the product out when it goes to flat ironing you'll notice you'll still have product build up the flat iron is going to smell it's going to be like burnt hair products into your hair it's going to leave your hair smelling gross I forgot a step okay <laughs> so why I'm not 100% recommending these I'm not sure if it's because this one is kind of old <laughs> um, it's almost two years old um, because I haven't really been straightening my hair <laughs> for that long. Um, I'm not recommending these because I still didn't get that. Like, you know, when you're using like a good conditioner, your hair is like butter and you're able to detangle with your Denman brush and it just slips through. I wasn't really getting that with these two. And, you know, I used this one and then I added this one thinking this one would help balance this one out. It didn't. Um, so, <laughs> lo and behold, it was the freaking three to four dollars. Um, what is this? Garnier Whole Blends, the Honey Treasures Conditioner. I love this conditioner when my hair is curly, but like I said, when my hair is curly versus straight, the products I'm using are usually different because they get different results and they do different things. And so um, I use this as a leave-in conditioner when my hair is curly because I have those very thick, very sponge-like curls and you know, it sucks it right up. It keeps it smooth and frizz-free. Well, obviously people of all hair types use this, especially if you go on Target. Look at the Target reviews. There's like a lot of good stuff. Um, and um, yeah, I just remember people saying, oh my gosh, this conditioner makes my hair feel like silk and blah, blah, blah. And so I put it on, sure enough, I should have probably just used this one by itself. But like I said, usually I don't use this one as a, a rinse out conditioner, usually, or a deep conditioner. Usually I use it as a leave-in. Um, 
but I think this is what ultimately saved the day because these two just my hair just wasn't feeling that great honestly it could have been um, usually with rice water you spray rice water on it it makes everything better even the rice water was having a hard time because you know the conditioners themselves were not pulling their weight and so that gets obviously to me it was you know very frustrating I was like Ugh, I'm gonna have to change up my straight hair conditioner because those aren't helping but yeah this kind of saved the day um i'm still going to be looking for a better more deep intensive um conditioner i sometimes i use shea moisture products like they have like this honey conditioner that i have it's crap on my hair um a lot of the, some of the shea moisture products like my hair just doesn't like it i know some people like using coconut oil in their hair my hair doesn't like coconut oil so um sometimes some things that work for other people just don't work for me and so i like to use this as a leave-in but i try to swap out my products because my hair 100 percent will get used to this and so that's why i don't entirely want to you know rely on it as a deep conditioner because i like using it as a leave-in some days when my hair is curly and you know you got to be careful about your hair getting used to certain things so this saved the day but at the same time i feel like i have to pick one use it you know routinely it were interchangeably should i say because um they have another one on the line that has a different blend of um it has like castor oil in it so like i'll swap those two out so yeah either use it a lot when my hair is curly or use it every you know once a month when my hair is you know straight um because i'm afraid of my hair getting used to it and it not working because it is like magic moving on i forgot to put that in there so if you guys are looking for a conditioner if you're if you have curls that are like mine very thick very spongy they get matted up easily you will love this um and uh, it does look good on hair as a leave-in conditioner um and it also works great as a rinse out but i really like it as a leave-in because i love the smell so i made sure that i had my hair in you know four different sections when i was rinsing out because of you know you don't really want any type of product left in your hair when you're about to straighten it it's just really gross so getting out of the shower where i would normally start adding products um you know my leave-in um and even usually i use like even my uh, rice water as a leave-in but when my hair is straight i use my rice water as a rinse hence why i added it on while i was putting in my deep conditioner and let it soak into my hair before rinsing it out so i'm not using it as a leave-in when my hair is straight i've never done that so i don't know what the results would be like but obviously it works great as a leave-in so when i get out of the shower and i'm about to straighten my hair um i decided to use the miracle it's a 10 this is like a keratin spray leave-in you can see it's kind of creamy but it's a spray so with this be careful it will help your hair to feel so silky so smooth but it can build up in your hair very quickly so what i did is i sprayed some in my hand and then i very gingerly raked it through i definitely was not getting every single strand because this can weigh down your hair so make sure you get you know the fronts of your hair the ends all of that this is just when it comes to leave-ins and you're about to straighten your hair sometimes i will use nothing but a heat protectant spray and a very light heat protectant spray and honestly that is when my hair will get the straightest that is when my hair will look the healthiest and you won't have that burning um flat iron smell because you know it's just cooking some products into your hair so really the less products you use when your hair is about to go straight the better so when i say i use this very gingerly like i was like i almost didn't want to get too much on it 